Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about the worst local game store ever. Now, we've talked about some really bad ones before, like Clutch Cards. That one was a bizarre flex lifestyle where the two owners lived lavish lifestyles funded by pre-orders, which they did not fulfill. So again, I mean, it, it kind of sounds a little bit like MetaZoo. They take all these pre-order monies and then they don't deliver the item because they never bought the item or they never ordered the item, hence saving them even more money. And then when the time came to send the item, there was no item to send, but the money was already gone. So that was the tactic of clutch cards. We also have seen some really bad management. We saw the Houston, one of the Houston Pokemon stores. They basically bought out a local, not even their local, it was kind of far away from them, from at least their game store, a Costco of Pokemon cards, therefore annoying the entire internet and having the entire internet um, just get really, really pissed at them. So beyond all this kind of funny stuff, uh, we have probably even more interesting news about this particular collectible anime store. And the co-owner, now I don't know who else the owner is, the co-owner of said collectible store, no good, man. No good. He is, uh, you know, you can read the report. He's probably ending up in jail. He's probably going to be in jail for some time. And this collectible store engaged with younger audiences, right? Most of their anime product are Mikus, and they're basically targeting younger audiences now that being said um it is quite fascinating to me uh that you know this pokemon store that the the owner it, it's strange but also you know it, it's something that you think about and you say to yourself holy shit I, how is this even possible but it is possible and it is something that they were doing at, or this guy was a doing. You know, when a business owner runs, opens a store, they can be a criminal, they can be a felon, they can have ulterior motives, right? And this dude just uh, is not. You know, would I take my future daughter here? No. Houston anime business owner arrested after trying to meet teen girl for X, had flowers, condoms, and loaded poo 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 items. Sounds pretty dangerous in my opinion, and yet he's selling these Mikus, so you wonder how the customer interaction is. And I also did find him pictures interacting with customers as well. So, a really weird scenario here, and a scenario where you have to be careful, especially like if you are younger. Um, the cosplay community in Houston is absolutely notorious for this. This seems to happen all the time with photographers and so on where I, I just see them on the feed is like, oh, this photographer turned out to be a blank blank. And this photographer and this photographer, you know, uh, this Magic the Gathering judge turned out to be a blank blank, right? Remember there was like a whole, when Jeremy Hambly was doing this, uh, there was an entire list of these judges, these Magic the Gathering judges, and they were all, you know, criminals. They were criminals. They were, they were all <laughs> criminals, right? Like uh, every single one of them. And then they delete everything. They restart their lives, right? This is a pretty, pretty sad existence in Houston um, because, you know, you can't really be successful. Eventually, somebody will find out who you are, even if you do change your name. I would suggest that, you know, you got to be careful about these places. They are often run by shady individuals. You know, I'm kind of out of the business. Uh, the reason that I'm out of the business is because I don't. You know, I don't need that. Right. I don't need this in my life. I don't need to compete against these offenders um, and a lot of the things in my interactions with this individual it's just very creepy dude um, you don't start being a creep from day, you know you're, you're probably a creep from day one and I don't know I mean it, it's one of these things where people like I was actually talking to my girlfriend today and she's like oh well how does she know he know she was a mine and he uh it was a minor well, it was like a fake police officer pretending to be a minor. I'm sure they have like the chat log where the police officer is telling her time and time again, hey, I'm a minor. Hey, I'm a minor. Hey, I'm a minor. 
dude didn't, doesn't care. Dude was like, oh man, cool. So this is a Magic the Gathering. And to be quite honest, it, it's very sad. It's a very sad scenario. And I think um, it's something that people really should understand does exist out there especially in the anime community in houston especially in photographers photographer after photographer after photographer i mean if you're like a photographer in houston yeah i mean that's i, I think people do it because minors um I mean, listen to adults and they have a position of power over them and it's very disgusting you see this all the time in houston i don't know what is wrong with houston uh, but there is, like, issues with this. Um, I remember, like, one photographer. It's always on the cosplay group. And they're always, like, let me see if I can find it. It was, like, a very bizarre. But this one, obviously, very bizarre. They have the proof. He's going to he's going to be effed. Uh, he should not, this dude should not be owning an anime. It's so funny that the police want everyone to know that he owns an anime store, right? They specifically, in their post call out the store that he's the co-owner of and then the store immediately after that shuts down everything all their social media shut down because i'm sure they don't want to uh, be part of this no more yeah i mean this is a legit anime store it wasn't like a fake store it, it did buy collections that i also was interested in and they paid a lot of money and then they wouldn't you know it's it, it's a terrible situation a terrible a person and human being and maybe he can change his life for the better but i'm pretty sure he's going to be on a offenders list for the rest of his life and he won't he should not be near any children uh especially you know interested in anime so anyway this is pretty big news in the anime community here it's like blowing up everywhere and i think in terms of uh why this is such a huge news um Everyone knew who this guy was. He owned, according to himself, the number one anime store in Houston. Again, according to himself, that's what he owned. And there's so many anime conventions in Houston and so many anime places to go. We have Anime Missouri, and then there's allegations there against the owner. And then they kind of just went away. And then people are like, oh, well, I like the convention, so we're going to ignore anything the owner may or may not have done. So yeah, if you if you look at um, the Anime Missouri, which is our largest anime convention, there is a little bit of shady activity going on there as well. So you have this and that and this and that, and then you know I, I, again, that's crazy, man. Crazy collection affection. In prison, he'll be the waifu. Yeah. Um, Create, I mean, anime is huge in Houston, especially like where I live in Humble. But not everyone is uh, doing it for the right reasons, obviously.